Okay, I just wanted to make a quick video on my uh, Player 6 Explorer 400. Uh, this is where this axle, or I should say, rear end bolts in. You can see where, or you can't see because it's so dark. I'll turn on my light. You can see here how it goes into the tranny and how it goes through here. But the problem is, I thought the swing arm bushings were shot, but it's not. It's actually the frame here. I'll show you. Which is not too hard to fix. You can see here. The rear end had a huge amount of play, so at one time someone must have left this bolt loose, or it could be from the chain rubbing, it's hard to say, and now you can see this huge amount of play. So the way I'm going to do this is I'm going to center it, tack it, make sure it's centered, and then I'm going to weld a bead all the way around this nut. So I'm going to have to take off this pillow block bearing here for the drive, and I'm going to just weld that. And, of course, if someone ever wants to do this again, they'll have to grind right off this head and just find a new bolt. And maybe sleeve it, shim it, hard to say. Uh, the kit I got comes with new insert, inserts for the tranny. So I'm going to probably try to find my blind hole bearing polar and get those out. Uh, the other side's not bad. It's only this side that's worn out, thank God. And, of course, my camera doesn't want to focus very well. So, and that's pretty much an update on this thing. So... Yeah, my camera's not focusing too well, is it? So, it's uh, almost 11 o'clock at night. I gotta somehow manage to get the starter back in. All defender or defenders are on, but get everything done by morning because I'm meant to be taking this thing out. So, let's see. This end, the hole's nowhere near as bad as the other end. So, got the motor stripped down. Got to change a uh, couple copper o-rings on that oil injection system right there because it's leaking pretty good I break clean most of it off so you can't see I changed the tranny oil and the counterbalancer oil both look to be good no water in the counterbalancer so the water pump seems to be or water pump seal seems to be good my brand new starter and my used but new one that failed that's a whole kit for the front wheel bearings so that's the next thing to do uh, for that RM250, I just bought a pretty kick-ass brand new front tire. You can see it has some pretty sweet nubs on it. So that's going on there pretty soon. A bunch of helmets in the pile, all the parts for it. So, fancy compression tester. And I hear someone. Ah, oh, you brought the beer, buddy. <laughs> and a laptop. What next? Oh, and you got the copper shims. I was just like... My, my son of a bitch camera? Yeah. Actually... Except I have to do one for the son of a <laughs> nah, I was just making a video showing some of the problems I ran in on onto on this piece. Well, the more you dig, the more you're gonna find. Oh hell, this thing has almost seven thousand miles on it, so yeah, it's due for quite a bit. And it wasn't the swing arm bushings that were shot; it's the frame rail where the bolt goes through the frame. It's worn out, so I gotta weld the nut back or the bolt in after. No, nah, don't do that. Make a shim. Oh, I don't have a lathe, and it's such a little bit that it would be hard to find the shim. Find a yeah, I know. Where am I going to put it? I don't have much room in here. A frame. A brand new frame. No, I was thinking of welding a washer in on the inside of it, but then there's not going to be enough room. And to make a shim, it's just going to wear back out. Hey, wait, wait. Did you have your camera too? Yeah. You got your camera too? Yeah. Oh, sweet. I should take out my uh, customized camera, hey? <laughs> oh, you're in a school again, robbing the school kids. I wanted to go check it out. Oh, Look at this fucking, you just fucking took over the garage, eh? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I just took it over. Got the welder. Dirty, dirty cold start. What do you think? Here? Cold start? Yeah. Ah, I can't do it. Have to choke it. <laughs> Beer? Beer? Yeah. Of course. Uh, in the toolbox. It's called a pair of pliers. What's with all the uh, rust right on that guy? On the flywheel? He's just open. Oh, it was underwater. That's why the old flywheel died. Yeah, the start uh, new fly, I got a brand new recoil sitting there. I mean, a brand new Did recoil. The old, old one not work or what? Oh, it blew apart on me. Oh, yeah. I was trying to start the engine when I first bought it, and it had been sitting for five years. And I was in the middle of pulling it, and the engine kicked back and pretty much yanked my hand. Uh, yeah, it hurt. Nice, you just got that in the face, buddy. I think I got it on camera. Sweet. Oh, this quad doesn't have beer holders. What are we going to do? Oh, they're replacing the seat and a few other things. So. I thought you already replaced the seat. 
No, they're replacing it again because it's uh, ripped again. Because you know how I was showing you how that one edge was sharp on the seat? So, but whatever, they're taking care of everything. And I might even be getting the service for half price because I've been having problems with it. So, uh, so I put that uh, white bike on uh, Kijiji, right? Uh, I put in that, do not phone, no matter, like, no matter what. I'm 100% firm on the price. Do not even try to ask me to go lower. I got three text messages asking me if I'll take eight, uh, 600 and a bunch of other guys just asking, and I actually found the old owner of the bike. He said, hey, that's my old bike. I remember the number or whatever he said. He recognizes it as being his old bike, and he wants to buy it back. Not the guy you just bought it from. No, it would be the guy that that guy bought it from. Uh, so. so what? How did you, uh, when, why did you, how did you get this thing? Where did you get it from? I just bought it off Kijiji, man. Yeah, but where from? Like, where in the... Uh, that's, it was in, uh, uh, Lorette. Oh, yeah? Yeah, and the guy, I don't know where the guy is from it, so. Oh, check this thing out. Impression test? Yeah, fancy one. Oh. But they fucked up. Instead of saying clear, it says light. What? It says light instead of clear. It's probably got a button for a light if you hold it. No, it doesn't. I looked at the box, even on the box, it says zero. Huh. So This uh, brake weaver is pretty fucking worn, eh? Yeah. That's fucked, eh? Mm-hmm. It's not even pivoting anymore. Eh, it you works to a point. Oh, I'm probably going to sell the bike. I don't know. I got a lot of people interested, so. Uh, it needs a piston. No shit, eh? Yeah, I did a compression test. Just over 100 PSI. Where this thing here has almost 200 the RM. Yeah, but uh, it depends on how the construction is. I looked, it should have 180. Oh, yeah? Yeah, so, it, and I've seen on the video when I pulled it apart before that the piston was scored pretty good, so. On this thing, I'm thinking of pulling the fender in the gas tank, because to get that compression tester on, it's going to be a bitch. But this thing has great compression. It starts and runs great, so. Don't think I'll have to worry about that. Okay. Yeah. So that's what I like, as everyone can tell here. Yeah, Oh, stand right here, and these things just cook you. The big lights up there. <laughs> Oh, that hurt my face looking at, you know, it's, uh, my legs broke on it, so it's just kind of dangling from the ceiling. <laughs> uh, uh, shit, shit, shit. Uh, do you want to, what do you want to do on this thing? Or do you just want to sit and watch? I'm just going to fuck around here and sit and watch and drink beer. Drink beer, watch? Sweet. Well, it's 11 o'clock now. I, wanna, I don't want to work on it much past 1. Uh, here, hold my camera. Let's see if I can start this thing again. Ah. Uh, Because if we can get. Eh. Stay, stay, stay. Here. Ah, uh, it's not going to stay. I'll with it. Shove it between the seat. So with the stirrer glue in your face? Yeah. Oh, I can do it. Here. Uh, the camera's half in the seat cushion. See if this one's going to park up. Why? Huh? See if I fixed it. Why don't you kill it before we kill ourselves? I don't want to kill us with exhaust fumes. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Yeah, no. okay. Well, at least we know it was just a freaking spark plug fell out on it. Stupid uh, BR10ES spark plug. I bought a four pack of them, so we're good. What's with this guy? Oh, well, which one? This is the starter? Yeah, that's the old one. Still spins over fine. It just hit dead spots all the time where I had to smack it. Oh, yeah. The brushes were sticking. So. You going to rebuild it or get a new one? Huh? Are you going to rebuild it or get a new one? Look right beside what you, where you just grabbed it. Oh, it's in the bag, eh? Yeah, it's a brand new one right there in the bag. Is that a OEM? No, it's a Chinese starter again. Hey, you want this job? Look at this. There's like 15 seals and 20 bearings. Is this the rear? No, that's for this. The front wheel, because this one has a little bit of play starting. Oh, yeah. More than a little bit. Yeah. This is my center link. I'm like a priest. I went and put it up on the lift to change the oil at my buddy's shop, and it's got this much play between the pit arm, pitman arm, and the center link. Yeah. And luckily, when I had my old Impala, uh, when I bought it, it was safety, and it got a brand new one on it. Holy. So I saved that when I wrecked it. Now yeah. I got a free pitman arm, or a free nice. idler, or something like that. Okay, I gotta cut this video off. It's almost at 10 minutes, and if it goes over 10 minutes, I gotta freaking hook it up to my computer, so. You don't have a, you're not approved for over 10 minute video? I am, but I can't upload it from the phone. Oh, 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 I gotta stop, stop there.